This is Minds of Conspiracy. I'm William Zariski, private investigator. Tonight I'm with my fiance, Wendy Canty, chiropractic assistant, who has helped me a great deal get these podcasts out to you guys. Uh, last time we were discussing the Eisenhower administration. Now, information has been leaked out during the time that uh, then-President Eisenhower uh, regarding this treaty that was made between extraterrestrial beings and the United States government. It was called the Grenada, Grenada Treaty. Uh, remember that these so-called extraterrestrials are in actuality fallen angels and or demons. The agreement was that the government was given special technology in exchange for the abductions of cattle and human beings. That's funny that in my previous podcast regarding technology, we've increased at a rapid pace just the last hundred years than in any other time in history of man. Now this is why the UFO and abduction reports began to surface after the 1940s. A few years prior, the Nazis were engaging in experiments with Jews at the concentration camps. I feel this is tied together for the same agenda because it's the same mode of operation reported in alien abductions. The experimentation that the Germans were conducting involved an interest in the reproductive organs and DNA manipulation, the very same thing that's reported in alien abductions. Now, Wendy's going to read some things that were said by Holocaust survivors at the concentration camps. We had to go downstairs into a special room. You had to stretch out on a table. They strapped you down, and they started first with 24 injections in many parts of our body. We were terribly sore after this. Another day they injected into the womb and ovaries some substance, we didn't know what, that burned like hell, and our pains were beyond endurance. Of course, all of this was always done without anesthetic. Those very long injection needles left open sores on our bodies. They also took biopsies from the womb, I suppose to check the results of the injected substance. Our resistance was so low that our wounds and sores never healed, and I repeat, anesthetic was never used. Another time, I recall they injected blood into our veins, but not our own blood type. Other survivors related the following. So-called camp doctors, especially the notorious Joseph Mingley, would torture and inflict incredible suffering on Jewish children, gypsy children, and many others. Patients were put into pressure chambers, tested with drugs, castrated, frozen to death, and exposed to various other traumas. Mingley had a special interest in twins. Once his assistant rounded up 14 pairs of twins during the night. He placed them on his polished marble dissection table and put them to sleep. He then proceeded to inject chloroform into their hearts, killing them instantaneously. He began dissecting and meticulously noting each and every piece of the twins' bodies. He supervised an operation by which two children were sewn together to create Siamese twins. Often he injected chemicals into the eyes of children in an attempt to change their eye color. His special pathology lab was located next to the crematorium. He made experimental surgeries performed without anesthesia, transfusions of blood from one twin to another, isolation endurance, reaction to various stimuli, and injections with legal lethal germs, sex change operations, removal of organs and limbs, and incestuous impregnations. How disgusting and vile Satan is. It's interesting that no anesthesia was ever used. That's very similar to these abduction accounts and these uh, human mutilations. It is known that Hitler's agenda was to create the Aryan race of superior beings and demolish all other races. There's a reason the Germans were 26 years ahead in technology than the rest of the world during this time. Satan had attempted to contaminate the DNA of men back in the pre-flood days of Noah. Knowing that, God did not allow him to achieve this. Satan's next goal has been to create a race of beings that will worship him. And that was part of it, and that's what he's doing now. This is why it's been occurring during the past... 70 years. Again, keep in mind, Satan cannot create life as God can. He has to manipulate it, and he mimics what God does. So what has been occurring is the ultimate agenda 
and this should tell you just how close we are to the tribulation. These abductions and mutilations of cattle and men are so Satan can develop a human-like body to be inhabited by demons and, of course, to possess the body of the Antichrist. Also, with some abduction accounts, um, there have been reports of small implants inserted into the abductees. In some cases, these implants have been removed by doctors who are baffled as to what they are or even more disturbing how they got there. These implant devices have been documented as emitting radio frequencies, have an unknown origin, and mysteriously fuse to the human body. When investigated, some of these implants contain nanotechnology and have microscopic gears. The reason that this is being done by Satan and his demons, fallen angels, they're developing the microchip that will be used for the mark of the beast. And in a nutshell, that's what's going on with these abductions and these aliens' encounters. And they're lying to these abductee people. Now, some of these people were chosen and said that they, they go back into their generation. These people are selected for whatever reason. And I think that goes into the curse of the generations. It can go to three to four generations. It's all involving sin. Uh, some of these abductees, um, they or their families, um, have been involved in the military or the occult, interestingly enough. Um, these abduction accounts, and these UFOs, have been suppressed by the media. They just think they're kooks. Um, there's many types of these alien reports. Some of the greys, the small ones, the big ones, the reptilian type, all sorts of different uh, reports have been. Now, now I understand a uh, percentage of these sightings and these stories could be hoax, but there's a percent of these that there's no explanation for and that has so much evidence, especially when talking about the these implants that are being taken out of the body and they baffled doctors and scientists. This is a very reality that we're dealing with. And these are the things that that we have to, to understand, to be aware of. This is something the church is not teaching. And it's it's sad. Because we've got to know about these things. We've got to know what we're dealing with. And we've got to know how we're going to rebuke it. And as I said before in my last podcast, if anyone has had one of these abductions, rebuke it in the name of Jesus. It's going to stop. We have authority over these as children of Christ. The truth is the average Christian is clueless about these things. Now these demons are, and, and, the, and these things from Satan, these fallen angels, they're, they're liars. They, they tell us that they're from um, the solar system, somewhere else far away, that they're chosen, that they're special. That, that's a lie. They're being used to, to create these. They're gathering the DNA. They're interested in the reproductive organs. They're putting these microchips that have... Uh, who knows this advanced technology with the GP, they're tracking them, know where they go. They're putting the curse onto their, their children. This is sick and dynamic activity. And I don't know about you, but I'm an end-time watchman. I refuse to let Satan win. I can only hope we have one more revival before these things begin to unfold. We're coming uh, to that time now. It's getting very, very interesting what's going to unfold when the, when the lie, when God is going to give over the, the delusion. We all need to get down. We need to pray on our knees that our eyes are going to be open, that, that this delusion that God's going to allow is not going to deceive us, that we're going to see this thing. Remember these teachings. Look this up yourself. There's other great uh, scholars and doctors that are, that are teaching this stuff. You've got Scott Johnson, Dr. Scott Johnson. You've got Chuck Missler. You've got Billy Crone. Look this stuff up on your own. I'm not the only one talking about it. 
Stay tuned for my next podcast. It's going to be re- uh, regarding some more stuff about this. God bless.